<laughs> we just made these super small seasonal signs for our Christmas spruce using two techniques. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back to another Tay Takeover. This week we're making some super small signs. For your tree. No power tools needed. We picked this up a $15 miter saw. Put a little hand saw and a little jim jam. I don't know what this thing you're, is called. You're making a mess. A guide. <laughs> Step one. We're going to paint our little boards. We picked up these little craft wood squares. They are four and a half by four and a half inches. We got these at Hobby Lobby, but I think all the craft stores have them. And we're going to start by painting them. What are you painting yours? White? Painting yeah, I think I'm going to paint white. mine. Blanco. Oh, yep. Using our chalked up paint, which you can get using our coupon code KNGMAKEIT on AuntieTay.com. Step two, we're gonna make tiny frames for our tiny signs. We picked up this uh, one by one, which is actually like three quarter by three quarter inch. And our miter box. So you can get these, we got this at the hardware store, so Lowe's or Home Depot, something like that. And you can get them from the dowel section, or you can get them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or your craft stores made out of balsa wood so i'm thinking the balsa wood may even be easier to cut yeah it'll probably be easier to cut now we're going to cut them on a 45. all right did you want to mark it with this well i'm gonna just make this first cut just to oh, get your tip. angle just the tip just the tip okay So you would normally mount this, but since this is our craft table, I'm just going to hold it for him for the purposes of this project. Uh, which one's the driest? This one now. Yeah. Get a pencil. Now we're just going to cut 45 in the other direction. So it's marked right on the top where the 45 is. Where's the 45? Hold on. Okay, we're like, uh, however this long is, short on our fourth frame. We can only probably get two sides out, so uh, one of them's going naked, frameless. I misjudged the quantity of dowel we needed. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. No skin off my back. Nose? Potato? Yeah, potato. It's one of those. Step three. Now we're gonna paint our frames black. Actually, we're gonna paint them onyx. Onyx. Step four. Now we're gonna put the design on our tiny sign. And here's where our cool technique comes in. Yeah, we're gonna use two techniques. And one technique has a sub-technique. Wow. Yeah, going seems, deep. Seems complicated. Yeah, go deep like that. 
You're just supposed to say it's not complicated. Oh, it's not complicated. Actually, right. it's not. It is super easy. It's way easier than your technique. Is it? Yeah, I think so. That's why I did it. Oh, but you know what? I just remembered my technique requires a power tool. I have to oh. use the cricket. <laughs> Mine's no, no power tools. That's right. So she's cutting out vinyl, and I'm going to do image transfer using some Mod Podge. We're using, this time we're using the Mod Podge image transfer medium. It has like specific Mod Podge for image transfers. And here's where the sub technique comes in. I did one with a laser printer, only black, and then I did one with our inkjet printer on regular printer paper. So I'm gonna see if the color inkjet works. I know the laser works. I don't know about the color inkjet. All right, so I mirrored them and then cut them down to about the size of my little sign. And now I'm gonna mod podge the faces. You wanna start adding your vinyl? Sure. Yours is gonna take longer. Is it? Here are my vinyl sayings. Alright, now I'm gonna put these face down and smooth them out. Alright, they're both on there. Now I'm gonna let the black and white ones sit overnight. I already did it. I did it last night. And then I'm gonna put this one, this color one, in the oven for an hour and see if it works. I don't have a whole 24 hours to wait again. I that's just thought of it today, so I decided to try it out real quick and throw it in the oven. That's what I have to say, because he's the master short cutter. <laughs> All right, I got a cup of water and a rag. Now I'm just gonna get the paper wet and gently, gently rub it off. So he's just wetting the paper and wiping it away. And it transfers the image right to the wood. my laser jet with the Mod Podge and there's my regular ink jet, ink jet with the color. This spent 24 hours, this spent an hour in the oven. Came out pretty good. I think it would take a really long time and a very steady hand to the, get that kind of vinyl. And a lot of layers. That's three colors right there. Three colors with all that detail. Too much for me. Step five. We're gonna put our tiny frames on our tiny signs that have our tiny designs. We're just gonna use some wood glue and some tape to hold it while it sets.
While those are setting up, we're gonna add a little eye hook at the top. Now remember, we didn't have enough frames to do all of ours, so we're just gonna screw these little eye hooks into the top of these frames and just into the top of these. Ooh, little eye. Alright, well that one didn't turn out so hot. Eh. Eh. <laughs> what is that? Five out of six ain't bad? Five out of six ain't bad. <laughs> What do you guys think? We got the image transfer. Oh, pretty good. And the vinyl. <laughs> now I felt like the image transfer was a little easier. I hate weeding. Leave us a comment down below. Would you rather do the image transfer or the vinyl? Now remember, image transfer, no power tools needed. No power tools needed. <laughs> we do the same thing on our channel every week. You should head over that way, over that way, and check us out. And we'll see you guys next week.